Hi Virgo, how are you doing today? Um, it's the end of the day and I figured I would go ahead and pull your reading because it's your turn and honestly it was about your turn anyway. It's been a minute and your card popped out so that was right in time, right in line with where it needed to be. Well, I'm going to pull some cards and see what we get, okay? Alright. So, are you at this point where you are starting over at something because you know that's all you can do like hear me out I got the full intemperance now we all know these are two very good cards honestly the full can go either way depending on your outlook but temperance is one of those cards where you're mastering patience and you're content with it like, you're not just telling yourself, be patient, be patient, be patient. Because that, in a sense, is still impatient. You're content with what you're dealing with because you know you have to go through it. I feel like you know um, how to center yourself or how to go inside and kind of um, ground yourself, which is good because you are an earth sign. Um, and at that point, you know, that's when you can see it clearly. But you're, you got that energy of the fool, which is not a bad thing. It's it's the it's not the naivety and the innocence of it, but it's going to be the adventure and excitement and the beginning, the new beginning part of the fool. Okay, that's what I'm getting for that one. It's not it's not like you're you're an idiot and you're a fool. It's not that, and and sometimes it can be that, but it's not that this time. Okay. Eight of Swords in Reverse. Okay. So, you're starting to see things clearly. And that's because you did go within the temperance, like it says. That's because you are in the energy and you were doing that. And you're able to kind of stick, take a step back and see it from an objective point of view. Where you know there's lots of things that you were doing to add to the situation. Or there was a lot of things that you could have done different to get out of the situation. Like, sometimes we are what holds us back and we are our own worst enemy and when I say that I don't mean that lightly in this situation I mean like really and seriously like you were holding yourself back because you were hoping for something to happen that um just wasn't happening on the time that you wanted it to and that's why you held on longer than you needed to I think I really do feel that way yeah eight of wands and you realize that because when it hit you it hit you like a damn ton of bricks it was it was a uh, a very emotional moment. You know what I mean? Like when it hit you, you felt the fire burning inside of you. You were so pissed and you were upset and you were hurt and you were, but you loved this person. There's so many different emotions at one time. Straight passion, good or bad. And, you know, it, it reversed this energy, um, you know, of, of the King of Cups where this person was dependable and loving and you are, this was you, vice versa. And it flipped. Something flipped. Yep. And there was a little investment put in it, the relationship after that. You know, like there wasn't, um, there was not really much effort being made. Yes, five of coins. Somebody felt left out in the cold because there was no effort being made. They felt like they were a choice. Um, that there was options this person had and he could make up his mind. And it was like a cycle of bullshit that y'all were going round and round and round in circles with. Um, and it never seemed to stop. Let's see this oh, shit. Yeah, Queen of Cups. And you love this person. And you do love this person. You love this person more than this person can ever fucking imagine. And that's what I'm saying. Like, they don't realize how much love you technically really do have for them. You know, two of Swords. But the decision had to be made. And you didn't want to make it. You didn't want to see it. You didn't want to do this. Um, yep. But this person made you an option. Seven of Cups. This person was literally taking your love and throwing it out scattering it seeing who who was going to come back and bring the most and it may not have been per se like that but this person was definitely not putting your best interest at heart they were worried about their own aspirations and their own big-headed ego and things that would bring them happiness yep three of coins they put you in a damn third party situation that's, i think that's exactly what happened virgo yep king of swords in reverse and you literally had to flip your shit and become and so this King of Cups reverse, you had to become this King of um, Swords reverse. And what I'm saying that is like, 
you had to become cold to the situation because you know once this truth got brought to you, this person tried to lie, you had to become cold. Yep, nine of swords, because it hurt. It hurt so bad for you to see the truth. It hurt so bad for you to know the truth. The world's upside down. Your world was upside down because of this. Yep, page of cups. There was no effort at love being made. Nothing to invest in. There was nothing but withdrawal, maybe. Yeah, Wheel of Fortune's even in reverse, which is still Wheel of Fortune because it's up and down. But it's more so the down. Um, it was a lot more downs than ups. Yeah, the lovers, because you guys, with the lovers, yes, it was. The seven of coins. Yep. But then you're going to start making this investment, right? We're going to start making this investment for yourself because judgment's coming. Judgment's overturned right here, which tells me that the judgment's coming in somebody else's shit. Like, you're going to get yours, but you're going to get yours in a good way. I really believe that. Um, Nine of Cups is in reverse, which tells me that you're still not focusing on self-love. This person may have you, um, I don't know, maybe low self-esteem. Yeah, the hermit's in reverse. Like, you don't even want to focus on the things you need to focus on about yourself. Does it, I mean, I don't know if it hurts too much for you to go within, but that's just your card, Virgo. And it's not even in the right energy. And King of Wands. Yep. They're trying to play some shit. Four of Cups. They're bored. This could be you now. They were bored. They're looking for something new. Something new to spark their interest to start that new juices flowing. And I don't say, I mean creative juices flowing. It could be that as well. It could be a job. It could be anything. But Six of Swords, you left. You grabbed your shit, your kid, whatever it was. I mean, whether you had to get across the, the water or whether you had to get across the damn town, you left. Yep, Page of Swords, you left. You revoked your truth, the things that you said to this person when you were ready to invest, when you were ready to learn what, it, what it, this person was all about and to take it to the next step, and you said, fuck it. Yep, page of Wands, you said, fuck it. You went Page of Swords and reverse Page of Wands because you're, like, better now. You're slightly better now. You got a little bit more fire back under you. Because you're getting that confidence back, Virgo. You are. And even though it hurt, heartbreak, even though it hurt very much, Three of Swords, Six of Wands, you're victorious, baby. You're going to be victorious, Virgo, okay? And I just really enjoyed doing this reading for you guys. Um, it's very similar to some things that I know a couple other signs are going through, but we're all aspects on the same fucking wheel. But the thing that I really just thought was beautiful is like I literally just pulled your cards, one card, one card, one card as I'm driving and just talking. And literally the cards are confirming what I'm telling you. And, you know, it is what it is. Take it how you, it resonates with you. Because if you're listening this long, then maybe it does. But the thing that's beautiful about this is that this reading was meant for you. If you found it, it was meant for you. It's timeless. Um... Because time does not work the same way that we count time to work. And time is extremely valuable. And I can't put a price on the time that it would take to help somebody if they listen to this. So, maybe it'll work. Maybe, Virgo, maybe this will be your confirmation that you are doing the right thing by walking away from this situation or this job or this person or this problem. Or whatever it is that's bothering you. Or whatever it is that's making you feel in that energy of that you're not enough. Or that you're being an option because you deserve to not be an option, but the only choice, like the only thing, like you know, shouldn't even be a choice. And if it's if it flip flops and it's this is for the cross watcher or whatever it is, then you need to get your shit together. Don't put nobody in a situation like that. And this is you, Virgo. It's you. But it sucks to be on the other end of that, guys. And remember what it feels like. You've all been cheated on by somebody that we cared about, or by somebody that we thought we cared about, or that cared about us. And imagine like bringing that pain that you went through to somebody else that you supposedly even say you care about. Why would you want to do that? I got to work on that shit myself too, but I'm not out doing things like that. But at the same time, I do my mean things my own way. Um, I am a cancer. I'm very moody. And I'm a showboat. I'm Leo rising. Aquarius moon. So I will be detached too as well. So it's like a fucking fuckery of shit that I can go through all these different stages. Emotional, hilarious, detached. I'm like psychotic almost. It's so crazy how my signs are. I have everything but what you are in most of my chart. I, that's the least amount I have is the earth is the, is the living in the real world and you have that and I envy that. So use your skills and your skill set and, and your head because you've got a wonderful head on your shoulders. You really do think differently and 
apply it to what you need to apply it to to make the physical realm around you better because you are an earth sign and that's where you're going to prosper at, okay? All right, Virgo, talk to you later. Bye.